locus of a point three, sheet three. Draw the locus of a point as it moves equal distance from circle A and point P. So we have circle A here and point P here. So it must be equal distance from the circle A and point P. So from this point here to P, we have to get the midpoint. So get the center point between there and there. Now we're bisecting that distance. Join the two points and that's your midpoint there. So that point there is the same distance from P as it is from circle A. Now, if we go five millimeters further from P, so measure five from midpoint away from P and then that five extra now do the same the other way around from the circle. So measure five from midpoint away from the circle further and then from point P mark an arc using that first measurement you marked. And then from the center of the circle and make sure it's the center of the circle, you set to the, the one the other side of the midpoint and draw an arc. Now those points you have found, that point there is the same distance from P and from the circle and the same down here at the bottom. So we repeat that process now. So mark out fives each way and then using your compass, draw your arcs. And we'll this time we'll draw the three arcs together to speed up the process. Change your center to the center of the circle and draw the other three arcs. Now it's a case then of deciding on the points. So we mark the points here where the circles intersect and that's the curve there. Now down at the bottom, mark the points here again. And then it's a freehand curve through these points. So you have to do it freehand because it's not a straight line. And that's the path traced by a point that moves equal distance from P and from the circle. So that's the locus of the point, equal distance from A and from point P. And that's your exercise complete.